Welcome back to Mac and PC Prime video. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at a cheap and easy way to get working Wi-Fi on your Hackintosh or Mac computer running Mac OS Tahoe and Sequoia. This is the TP-Link TLWN823N300 megabits per second mini wireless network USB. It's a dual band USB Wi-Fi adapter that's available on Amazon, Hackintosh or Mac computer running Mac OS Tahoe. Fully supported by the wireless drivers from Chris1111, which I'll link down below in the video description. First, you need to install this software, OCLP-MODV 3.0. One OCLP MODV 3.0 install program. After installation, it is usually located in the application folder. Open OCLP MOD. The program is in Chinese, that we will have to get used to this state of things. Click on Setup. Following options. This software language is Chinese, English language is not available. So, please see where I am showing the arrow mark and install it. Select Root Patching USB Patch that refers to the Tahoe system. Back to the menu we click here. Start patching. It looks for what is to be done. Pressing this key starts the installation. Ethernet connection is required when you start OCLP for the first time. The question, do you want to restart? Click here we confirm. Revert root patches for small Mac OS update. Yes, here to confirm restart. Program OCLP works as if the background and it asks us to install all previous patched drivers. And after a Mac OS update, we can click OK. No need for any setting because OCLP remembers settings. Open the new folder that just appeared and right-click on the icon labeled Wireless USB Big Sur Adapter. Then click Open. You'll see a message from Mac OS asking if you show that you want to open it. Click on Open again to start the installer. The first thing the installer will do is verify that SIP is disabled. 
if you have SIP enabled and you don't know how to turn it off, a link to an article on the Apple developer site how once the installer starts, click on continue, then continue again, then continue a third time, and finally click install. Then you'll have to enter your Mac OS user password and click install software. You'll see a message from Mac OS saying that the system extension was updated and you need to approve it. In System Settings, click on the button labeled Open System Settings, and you'll see a message under the Privacy and Security pane saying, System software from Realtek Semiconductor Corporation has been updated. Click the Allow button in this box and you'll be asked to your macOS password again. Enter your password, click on Lock, and then you'll need to reboot your Mac for the changes to take effect. Once you reboot, you'll see a new USB Wi-Fi icon has appeared in the top right. If you click on it, you'll see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Choose the network you want to connect to, and then enter your Wi-Fi password. It's normal, and it should connect. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.